tell y'all something. This is my, my thinking cap. <laughs> this is my thinking cap. I ain't gonna lie, I like this hat and it's actually going with what I got going on, but it's just, you know, hair looking a little crazy and y'all ain't gonna be talking about me. What is up, you guys? It is your girl, Kia. I am back with another reading from my Aquarius gang, okay? If you are new to my channel, baby, welcome. All right, y'all know, we ain't did it in a minute. Let's do it, ready? Aquarius, hey, Aquarius, hey, Aquarius, Aquarius. A qua, a qua. Yeah, y'all stupid as hell because y'all was going to keep rocking with me and I am literally in such a good fucking mood today. I had a weird dream um, and I feel like I want to share this dream with you all because I feel like it could pertain to you. I don't really feel like it pertains to me because ain't no nigga coming back. But um, somebody here got somebody who want to spin the block and double back and try to get what they lost. And I honestly feel like they a goddamn fool if they think that you going to put everything you working on on pause. Y'all crazy as hell. What? If you are new, make sure that you hit that subscribe button before I forget. Okay, become a part of the cartel crew over here. I'm just, I'm me, and I'm going to tell you what comes to mind. I have downloads that come from all the cracks and crevices of the, the universe. So if I just blurt out some shit, I do not have, um, you know, any problem. I just am literally just blurting things out. But... If you are not new, you already know the drill. Take what resonates, leave what does not for whoever the fuck it does belong to. And we're going to push through this reading, okay? I will say some of you have people doubling. I'm talking about doing such a hard turn at the bottom, at the end of the block. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, you're making so much noise on a Tuesday at 11 p.m. What, what do you want, right? Someone's honking the horn, dangling keys, okay? There's... There's just someone that wants to come back and be like, look, you know what? I'm tired of us not being together. I knew you guys had so many energy surfacing through. And I feel like this new energy, you know, this person that's coming back could either be a person who's gotten their shit together. Or this is a fresh person who is making it known like, yo, I'm vibing with you. I'm rocking with you. But shh strong on this ex-person who wants to double back right that relationship to me definitely probably ended on a weird note some of you just ended didn't even have a conversation but some of you ended on really weird terms right where you were almost like i don't even i don't ever want to see you again right yeah right someone sees you now and they miss it right they're reminiscing about just moments that you guys have had you guys have love and power so your power is having the ability to be completely yourself I'm telling you, people really love you being you, right? People love the fact that someone here is just very them, right? You don't really care who's in the room. You don't care what people think. You don't care what people have to say. You're going to be you 10 times across the board, no matter what. That is very, very attractive to someone. I think, you know, off the rip, we know that, you know, your personality and, you know, your vibe can be a little intimidating because of how well you carry yourself. But I do feel at some point someone is no longer as intimidated, you know, because there's still a little intimidation there. But I do feel that this person is like, you know what? I rock with Aqua for just being them, right? Speaking on how they feel. You have transformation coming through. Okay, so big things are getting ready to happen for you because of how authentic you have been, right? Because of how true to yourself you have been. Not allowing things to get in your way, not allowing people to irritate you or get in the way of that vision, okay? You guys have vision, right? So someone here is very into what they have going on. There's really nothing that can like block anything. You've already made up your mind. You know what the hell needs to happen. And you're really not worried about anybody at this moment. For those of you that do have your eye on a person or they have their eye on you, I do feel like you're making it known in the beginning. Like, hey, this is the shit that I have going on. If you're not on this type of time, then maybe we should cut it short, right? Okay, I have nurture coming out. So for all my new parents, congratulations for one. Um, but if you have been trying, someone here is trying to work on children or someone here just wants children and maybe that hasn't been a conversation yet. But I feel like there's been a hint like, hey, can we build a family? Can we do this? Like, I want you to have my baby. Someone's like, can you have my baby? <laughs> you want me to have your baby? <laughs> Blossoming comes out. Okay, 
So again, that is just confirmation for me to you that tran this transformation that you are getting ready to go through is solely up to you. You are planting the seed that you need in order to grow whatever it is that you want, right? Growing a business, growing the ability to, you know, build a home, just, just really fucking making it happen, right? It's not much you can say, like you're just really putting in the work. At the bottom of the deck, we do have mystery. I say it all the time. You're a mystery to somebody, but I do feel like a lot of you are trying to figure out somebody, which is kind of odd because you're like, mm, I typically don't do this, but there's something that I need to know. So someone could be, you know, putting some pieces together because something just doesn't sit well with the person right now. You've been trying to figure out what the fuck is this person hiding? But I, I honestly feel like you are a mystery. Someone here is really trying to figure out you and it has nothing to even do with like your whereabouts or you know, what you do for a living. This person is really just trying to figure out you. Like, what makes this, what makes Aqua happy, right? Some of you just have RBF, you know what I'm saying? For my gangsters too. My gangsters be like, look, bitch, I ain't got time. What you want to do? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like someone here just gives very tough love, right? Someone here gives very, very tough love. Gangsters need love too, all right? That's another thing I wanted to touch on. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of you that do hold that type of mentality where you just a real, you know what I'm saying? Real gritta. And it's, it's like that could be taken wrong. If you do have interest in someone right now, I feel like, you know, this person just doesn't know whether or not you feel the way that you feel because of how you express it. So it's not often what you say, it's how you say it and how you show it as, as well. Action is very, very important. So for all my gangsters, I don't know why I feel like we had a little gangster moment. Okay. That is for you. Trust. Okay. Whoever I'm talking to is going through the process of trust, trusting many things in their world, right? Trusting yourself, trusting people, asking for things that you wish to receive is very important. Do the manifesting work, okay? Take the time to script. That is something very important for Aquas during this season is really writing things down. We need to be able to read these things back to ourselves to know that this is something that we really, really want, right? Because we can get really sidetracked. I do it all the time. I procrastinate. I get sidetracked. I'm like, ooh, this is shiny. Ooh, that's shinier. And then like, I'm all over the place, right? So it, it's just really a matter of you focusing and having something to focus on, right? Like having a pinpoint as to what you want to do, because let's admit it, we're creators. We are very talented in many different things. Every single Aquarius that I know is very talented in a lot of different areas in life, right? Musicians, artists, okay? uh cooks right culinary um doctors lawyers uh like we do everything we do everything we are smart fucking people and that is what irritates people people get mad when we be right and i'll be like well, bitch i'm right you want me to be wrong okay i'll be wrong psych i'm not gonna be wrong for you i'm right for me for all of us i'm getting us out of here okay i have king energy divine masculine coming through okay so this is definitely giving giving me fire energy and we haven't even tapped into the signs yet um i do have surrender so a lot of you have been going through that conflicting uh, emotion with someone right having to repeat yourself all the time conversation ends okay um i just think getting out of a very verbal possibly physical situation with someone here this is when shit heats up because you're reprogramming your soul you're like I know that this is shit that is not normal. I am not supposed to go through this shit. I am releasing and reclaiming my life, right? I'm releasing myself of this pain, ridding myself of this anxiety and this fear to move on without a person. I got to fucking surrender and go. No joke. It's been a roller coaster. It's been night and day that I have been in this clouded space. Someone is definitely out of this space, okay? You do have, you can do it showing up at the bottom of the deck okay if you if you felt like you couldn't you can and you will and i feel like this is something that someone here needs to know if you don't get the motivation from the people that are next to you i'm here to give you the the motivation sis bruh my mans you know what i'm saying i'm here to give you all the motivation okay ground shield protect so a lot of you are definitely in protect mode right a lot of you definitely have this guard that is up and i'm talking about 10 times up right like you keep building on top of this um this shield 
this barrier because you just don't know who to trust. I think a lot of people have lost their trust within this last year, you know, last six months, but there is a rebirth that is taking place. And I love that for you all because I feel like a lot of you are not allowing things that would normally piss you off and get you upset, get under your skin to do so, right? You're growing, you're maturing, you're elevating, and you're leaving people behind. And it feels good, right? It feels good to say, you know what? I've worked hard to get to where I am. I'm going to maintain this and add to it, right? In a in a positive way, right? A lot of you like to fight. Someone here likes to fight. Someone here likes to throw them hands. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that ain't going to get you nowhere, but a little spot and a little spot. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of you are just taking time to really think about your future taking time to really understand that you don't need to deal with certain shit you don't have to you know put up a fight with people you don't have to explain yourself all you have to do is make sure that you are happy and you are safe and you are doing what you want to do right this has nothing to do with anybody else this is a journey for you there is the runner coming out okay so there's definitely someone who gave me codependent on a relationship okay fear of intim intimacy if you were having sex a lot you're no longer doing so and it could be because there's a third party but i just feel that there's a disconnect right I'm doing one thing, you doing another. Someone honestly is very, very codependent on you making decisions for them. And when they couldn't get that from you, this person decided to leave and find, you know, someone or elsewhere where their needs were met by asking and penny pinching off of people and leeching off of other people's shit, right? You no longer can provide for someone here. Keys on a ring, many options, decisions, okay, stringing along, one night stand. So I do feel that someone here, you know, um, was dating someone who just kind of went silent, right? And I think because this person is considered to be a player, um, you could also be stringing a couple of people along if you are dating. I do feel like you need to give people answers. People are in love with you right now, right? Um, there's someone here who's giving me the vibe of in love with you, but they never really express it the way that they need to express it for you to know for real. It's like, do you want me or do you not? What are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? So there's mutual energy of someone just not being completely honest about what a relationship is here. Um, you could have had a one night stand with someone and this person is just constantly thinking about you is what I definitely feel. I feel like, yeah, you got a love call coming out, honey. You, you fucked up. You got somebody else who is feeling you. Someone here wants to express how much they love you. There's This is going to come through a message. So don't be surprised if a text or a DM comes sliding through like, hey, what's up? Can we meet up? Do you really like this person? Are you really into this person? Was this just a, you know, a thing? I feel like this person is a very attractive person for someone here. But I really do feel like you were thinking on whether or not you want to, um, you know, entertain this. But someone is definitely letting you know like, hey, I fuck with you. I like you. Can we do this again? <laughs> period okay someone is coming towards you that could definitely be that new soulmate energy but you know this person is like hey <laughs> give me a chance i promise i'll be the best chance you take okay is there anything else that we need to know in regard to what it is that my aquarius is going through or what they should expect yeah we have paradise coming out again okay this came out in my first spread so definitely something to enjoy here right i feel like this is a new relationship where you evolve with someone that is just like you right i do feel that someone is making the um action to go somewhere to meet this love there is a what feels to be a long distance relationship here um but you guys have this extreme chemistry right there's without a doubt a fucking connection but someone here is wanting to take action someone doesn't want to be separated from you right now someone doesn't like the idea of this distance so i do feel like a lot of you could be surprised with someone coming um toward you okay very soon like sooner than later um but for a lot of you you are definitely making the decision to go and meet up with this person and meet them okay so definitely okay we have self-absorbed narcissist narcissist one-sided relationship karmic relationship the person that you were dealing with for someone here is going through a bunch of weird shit i don't know why they even want to come out but of course they want to come and show themselves as you are making necessary steps to make yourself happy right this is the energy of a person who fucked up taking a look in the mirror okay with this golden mirror they realized that they were the problem the whole time. Someone here put a lot of the blame on you for things ending or for them taking, you know, fucked up actions toward, you know, hurting you. You know what I'm saying? Now they're going through a karmic relationship and it's like, haha, nope, stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. Okay. 
This person thought that they were going to be ascending. They thought that they were going to get more out of a relationship elsewhere rather than with you. And it's kind of like, had you stayed with me, you'd be doing better. You know what I'm saying? Addiction. This person has an addiction to to being codependent, right? This person has an obsession with trying to control situations, but a lot of you got this person blocked and this is driving them fucking nuts. This is driving somebody fucking nuts. This could also be that mystery, right? Someone wants to know what the hell are you up to? Why are you not giving me this attention that I, that I normally get? Why are you not nurturing me? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you're a grown ass person. You know what I'm saying? And I got to make decisions for me. That's what someone here is saying. Like, what are we talking about? And why are we even, why are you even trying to have this conversation right now? I thought we went over this. <laughs> A lot of you are not even giving this person the time of day. Okay. You like, mm, shut it off. Okay. We're going to go ahead and tap a little deeper into what is, wow. We have Aquarius energy coming in and hasty. So for that person that is looking to come toward you, this person is coming in fast as fuck, okay? We have the Knight of Swords energy. Um, I think a lot of you are not wanting someone here to come toward you. I think someone is letting you know like, hey, I'm coming toward you regardless. We're going to have this conversation and you're like, mm, yeah, no, we're not. No, we're not. Why? Because we tried this already. Um, this is a person who, you know, wants what they want, right? But you also want what you want. And what you don't want is to have to go back 10 steps in order to go through the same motions that you've tried to build or work through with a specific person here, okay? This person is coming in very, very strong, whoever this is. This person is coming in to let you know, like, I miss what we had. I want it back. <laughs> you do have decision coming out with the two of swords, okay? And Libra, I do have a uh, stalemate, okay? True, sitting on the fence, crossroads, difficult decision, painful. So a lot of you could be, you know, trying to figure out whether or not you do want to fuck with this person again. But I do feel like that is a major decision for you to make considering that you've gone through so much chaotic shit with the person here, so much mental abuse and when i say mental abuse i think that someone talks at somebody all the time tells them really crazy things to try to belittle them and make them feel bad uh, to uplift themselves and i don't feel like that's a very you know that relationship doesn't seem healthy at all to me but look you're grown as hell so you make whatever choices i just know that this person is going to have a conversation and someone here always wills you in with how sweet they can talk right and then you be thinking about how fun y'all really how much fun y'all really do have when things are good right and it's kind of hard like they have this mesmerizing evil fucking way of willing you back in and when i say evil i mean evil because this person is attractive I think that this person is attractive as fuck and it's really hard for you to say no, but sis, sis, have discipline, okay? You got to have strong discipline for my fellas, okay? If she fine, you know, body on Coke bottle. Like, you guys to be strong, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Because someone here knows how to get you back, right? Knows how to get you thinking, okay? So a lot of you have a very, very, um, you know, a very huge decision to make whether or not you want to continue going down that road. I just feel like there could be a lot of disappointment that comes into play after giving this person again what they know to take place, right? They consistently fuck up. You consistently forgive them. At some point, you have to break a cycle, okay? I do have Aries energy coming out, okay? So this is the Knight of Wands energy, okay? Someone definitely lied to you about something here. Is it forgivable? Do you forgive this person, right? This person is so... Um, consumed with what people think. Someone is so concerned. Consume was the wrong word. Someone here was very concerned about what everybody fucking thought. It was all about ego, right? It was all about, oh, I gotta have this because so-and-so has this. Oh, I gotta have that because, you know what I'm saying, these is the new drop. And it's like, no, baby, we got to stack up in order to to be that you know what i'm saying so someone here just really gives a fuck about what other people think instead of what needs to work for your relationship okay i do have the page of wands coming out in reverse okay so we have the king and the page okay so this is when i think of page i think of hella new chapters right you want to get out of this chapter of having to go through constant lies and deviousness and dealing with someone who has uh you know self-absorbed issues and then you get to this other page this is all in reverse where you know you have lacked your own energy because you've been participating in the bullshit energy that people got going on over here like it's all fucking crazy 
You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that is definitely something you want to get out of. I don't feel like anyone here wants to continue going through these cycles. Like I said, you don't want to continue arguing. You don't want to have to worry about whether or not this person is going to tell you the truth, whether this person is really changing. Shit has to change. We have Sagittarius energy coming out, okay? This is someone who is... Um, you know, definitely liking the idea of going through a battle with you. Someone here really thinks like, you know what, if I can argue with Aquarius, that means they give a fuck about me. And it's completely the opposite for you. You're like, I don't want to have to do any of this because I don't have to. What the fuck crazy shit are you on to think that I want to waste my time being combative with you? No, you just don't get where I'm coming from and you really don't care. So I think that a lot of you have to gather your strength, okay? Fight your own corner and really just have the courage to be by yourself, right? If it requires this person to not be in your life, it's very, very temporary just because I feel that there's a new love. There's so many options. There's someone here who really wants to make it known like, hey, you know what? I don't know what issues you've gone through. Sounds crazy, but here's what I can do for you. Here's here's what I would like to do for you. Okay, let's go ahead and tap into the energy of what is going on for my Aquarius. I see it. You popped out choice in the reverse, okay, with the two of us uh, uh the two of wands, okay? Someone here has a fear of making this change. Someone here has a fear of making this change, but I see ascending is coming out. So I do feel like, you know, once you decide to make whatever choice you make, it puts you in a different phase, right? I do feel like a lot of you know what is best. A lot of you know that the situation you were in is just not good. It caused a lot of you stress, which can kill you, okay? It caused a lot of you to just have these mental breakdowns and be alone, right? A lot of you just feel alone even when you're around people and it's because you're so fixated on this heartbreak. You're so fixated on this disconnect, right? Family, friends, a lot of people have deceived you. And I feel like, you know, this is the time to grind. This is the time. If you have to protect yourself, then protect yourself. Don't block yourself from the things that are meant for you. But it's okay to protect yourself from the people that have consistently shown you that they just don't get what is going on, okay? We have unhappy families postponed. Yeah, so a lot of you are definitely into it with your family right now. If you recently just had an argument with somebody that is considered to be family or actually family, I feel like that was the last straw. I feel like a lot of you had this thing that was like, you know what? I'm no longer going to go through this shit. Someone has a disconnect with their mother but I do feel like a lot of you have really good relationships with your mother as well so it can be a 50 50 thing um you do have the queen of cups coming out with a choice based on sincere feelings okay dreams empathy substitute may play a significant yeah so there's definitely going to be changes made I think a lot of you are making changes as far as like hey okay this is what's going to allow me more money. You have the Page of Swords coming out as well as the Three of Swords. So there's a third party energy. Someone is just that lie and deviousness is coming from someone not being honest about another life that they are fucking living. And I hate to say it, but again, there's someone who feels betrayed. You're lonely, right? Having to remove somebody. There's the absence of a partner, okay? This is causing heartache, sadness, upheaval. Someone is going through grief still, okay you feel like you've you've really lost something here okay you want to alienate yourself and unfortunately it's not really good to alienate yourself right we can't really continue going through life trying to figure out you know what's going to happen and we're not taking any actions like if you want to see changes you have to get the fuck up and you have to get into motion so i do feel like with curiosity coming out gemini energy as well as libra energy okay with the page of swords Everything that has been delayed for you changes. That's that transformation. You finally realize, you know what? I can't sit here and fucking drown in my tears, okay? People are going to lie to me. People are going to hurt me. It's just a matter of whether or not I choose to keep them in my life or not, okay? But a lot of you have so many good things happening right now. This transformation is so, so big. I feel like a lot of you are definitely performers. A lot of you definitely own your own businesses. And a lot of you were looking for that support from other people i have virgo energy coming out and unexpected changes financial disaster so there was someone here that was dealing with a person who just asked for money all the time this person really looked at you as a fucking atm and i'm like it's making me feel weird because it's like who the fuck do you think i am bank of america like no you know what i'm saying um but the hard work that you are putting in pays off. I just feel like there's going to be someone here who sees that and, you know, tries to bring themselves back into the picture based off of the life that, you know, they want to live now. It's kind of like, oh, I see Aqua doing this. I see Aqua, you know, with this, with a new Tesla. Somebody here got a new car. Somebody here got a new, you know, a new house, right? And this person is really peeping you, stalking you, trying to figure out how can I get back in so I can live that life without paying my dues? Uh-uh. Y'all already know what I'm going to say. Get somebody else to do it. 
You can't live free over here. You have the tower coming out, right? So this person is definitely going through a lot of disasters and chaos based off of just the choices that they make, but it has nothing to do with you, okay? Like I said, the hard work that you have been putting in pays off and it has nothing to do with anybody else, right? Can we go ahead? Oof, I see it. We have the death card coming out, okay? The number 13 can be in reference for something. I do have Scorpio coming out. Inability to move forward, fear of beginnings, repeating negative patterns, resisting change, dependency. So I do feel like a lot of you have gone back to a situation that you wish you hadn't. I feel like this is the cause for a conversation to take place. You have an addiction as well, being with this person. Hiding how you feel with the mask, okay? But I do feel like there is someone here who needs to realize, you know, they, they can lose you. They can lose you. If they don't get their shit together, you're not going to be an option for them. You need to allow people to, or you need to force people, not force. You need to teach people that if they can't get their shit together, I will elevate with or without you. You know what I'm saying? Because I think someone here just thinks like you're never going to go anywhere. Someone here just thinks that no matter what they do, no matter what they say, they're always going to have some type of space with you, right? Somewhere to run to, someone to bully, someone to, you know, get money from. Like this person just really thinks that they have their life fucking made when it comes to you. And it's like, mm -mm, baby, you're wrong because Aqua, this is a new era, okay? This is a new me. Travel moving on, right? Because some of you are moving. Some of you are moving and this person doesn't even know. I feel so bad just now because a lot of you are going to leave a person and they're not even gonna know you're gonna just be gone and they're gonna think they're gonna come to that door and it's gonna be someone else that answers that door that is so crazy to me okay you have defeat coming out in Aquarius okay surrender change walking away yeah a lot of you are getting ready to make very quiet changes to the point where I don't think anyone is gonna know what you are up to or have any idea as to whether or not you move or even who you're in a relationship like some of you are being really really quiet about this and it feels good right because it's like okay I can do what I want to do and not have any opinions hell yeah 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 we got the sun coming out lack of enthusiasm sadness yeah because you were dealing with somebody who just wasn't you right you were dealing with someone who was it's okay to have someone in your life that's your opposite but you and this person were so opposite it's just not even fun right um Someone here lacked, you know, confidence and in feeling uh, inadequate. So someone definitely doesn't feel like a relationship is a match, right? You feel like either you're working too hard to maintain this relationship or this person feels like they're not working hard enough. They know they're not working hard enough. There's just no balance here, okay? We do have patience. Someone has definitely tried to have patience moving forward in this relationship. The tower comes out again, but yeah, there's been um, lots of arguing and there could have been a divorce, okay? There could have been some just confusion about what it is that is going to make this relationship work. Someone here, I'm feeling, thought that they could date outside of this commitment. Like, I don't know where they got that from, but someone thought that they really just had the ability to like, oh, because I'm paying this type of bill or because I'm doing this, like I can go ahead and do what I want to do. And you're like, no, where the fuck did you get that from, right? Um, just weird, weird energy. You try to have patience, really trying to understand where this person was coming from, but it just doesn't make sense. You're like, make it make sense for me, Joe. Okay, we have King of Cups energy coming out with Pisces. Um, emotional intelligence. This is someone who comes in wanting to be you know, your your emotional balance beam is what I like to call it. This is someone that you can lean on, right? When you're feeling a little too overwhelmed, when you're feeling like shit is too heavy, when you want to cry, you can lean on them. This is someone who is available for those those emotional days, right? Those those chaotic days. Is there anything else that we need to know in regard to what is going on for my Aquarius? You have the chariot coming out. The number seven, this is the year of the seven. Okay, we do have cancer energy coming out in victory. Saying yes to overcoming your obstacles, okay? Someone here has been doing their affirmations, I take it. So a lot of you have been telling yourself that you're able to have the things that you desire. And I feel like that's amazing because you're lucky, right? You're lucky because you're supposed to be, right? You're lucky and everything comes to you. Like, that's an amazing feeling when you're like, you know what? I said that and it happened and it feels good. So I'm going to continue telling myself good shit because if I don't do it, who will? <laughs> Y'all. It's great. What is it that we need to take from this? Re okay, let's go ahead. Generosity. Yeah, people are going to... There are a lot of people who owe somebody money. Um, I, I, I truly feel like a lot of you just need to let that shit go, right? A lot of you know for a fact, like, someone here just isn't about what they say. I've been waiting on this shit for a really long time. But there are definitely people who need you financially and I feel like you cannot help anybody unless you are able to help yourself okay this is something that you are not obligated to do because you have money or because you're in a better 
um, financial position. This is not your job to secure anyone else's way of living right or just the things that they want someone here has to work for the shit that they need in life because you did it right let's go ahead and tap into the energy of what it is that my aquas need to take friendship you will be celebrating something here we do have aquarius energy coming out in clarity so i do feel like a lot of things become clear for you within these next couple of days right a lot of you have given somebody plenty of time to say whether or not they want to pursue this relationship is what I'm feeling, right? You've been not only giving hints, but I feel like a lot of you have specifically told somebody like, what do you want to do? Because I have fucking options and like, I like, I want you, but I don't need you. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to like, what is it? I don't know, but I do know that either way with all, again, the hard work that you've been putting in. You get to celebrate with friends. There's some parties going on. There's lots of festivities, lots of gatherings. Okay, graduation, baby shower, happy time. Someone here has a graduation to attend here soon. There are weddings that will be planned, if not celebrated, as well as engagements, okay? Um, but this is a happy time for you, Aqua. I feel like a lot of you can just go ahead and, and clap. Okay, let's go ahead and do the clap. Let's pat our, ourselves on the back because someone here has been putting in the work this season. Our season is coming up, even though our season is all the all year round. You know what I'm saying? We just be trying to give people, you know, some time to celebrate. But I do feel like a lot of you have really amazing things to celebrate with. I feel like if you're going on trips with your friends, if you're getting ready to hang out with family, you know, during this time um, for your birthday, soak that shit in. Be happy. Don't worry about that heartbreak. Don't worry about the cheating, the lies, the deviousness, just let it go. You deserve to be happy, right? So uh, celebration, let's put that in the comments today. If you made it to the end, let's go ahead and put celebration in the comments. I love, 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 love you all. I am like, Y'all be making me want to cry because I just love how fucking tight our community is becoming so early. We really be making it shake. I love how you guys talk to each other in the comments. I've said that a few times. Y'all really be making my day. And I feel like if this resonated with you, do not be afraid to go ahead and let me know what did in the comments, okay? I love having conversations when I have the time to run around to you guys in the comments. Again, I stated this in my last reading. If you are a small business owner, I am in love with, you know, supporting small businesses and my new entrepreneurs. So I do leave my uh, PO box information down below. I do have a vlog channel that I am starting up. It is a completely fresh channel. I want to go ahead and get a thousand people to go ahead and subscribe over there. So if you are a supporter and you want to see what things I have going on in my life, I'm going to be pretty consistent over there now that I've had all this taken care of. Um, but that's just a better way to know me. I want to teach y'all some shit over there too, take you guys on some spiritual journeys, things like that. But that's just a way to get to know me and tap into my life and get to know all the crazy aqua shit that I got going on. Because honey, I got some shit going on, okay? And I want to share that with y'all. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope that you all enjoyed this reading. Again, I love you all. Let's put celebration down in the comments. Like this video share this video so we can grow and get our aqua community going okay and i'll see you guys in the next one bye